Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be connecting with you here today. I was just taking the last minute to prepare for this live stream with you. Uh, it is, what is today, the 11th, 12th, and it is a Tuesday. I'm actually connecting with you uh, from Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center here in Honolulu. And today is unique in that I will be learning as much as you in the sharing as I'll be sharing from uh, a book related to soul mind body medicine. Now this is the book. I know it's backwards in your uh, screen there, but I have no way to make it not backwards. So it's called soul mind body medicine. And it's one of the more recent books by my teacher, my spiritual father, Master Shah. And it's also co-written by uh, Dr. and Master Rulin Shu. And uh, Dr. and Master Rulin Shu uh, has actually grown up here in Hawaii, uh, excuse me, grew up in China, but she spent a great deal of her time here in Hawaii. So she's pretty much considered a native. Uh, and, but she's also a very well-respected physicist and uh, trained in Berkeley and as well as in China. And she and Master Shah co-wrote a book, uh, Soul Mind Body Medicine, excuse me, not Soul Mind Body Medicine, Soul Mind Body Science System. And I'm gonna do my best to present aspects of it today and do some practices with you uh, to prepare you for uh, some activities that are coming out of Honolulu this weekend. Uh, today is Tuesday, so Thursday there is a book signing. Friday there is a complimentary free evening uh, 6 to 9 p.m. Hawaii time. And so that's going to make it very easy for Australia and India to join. Uh, it'll make it very easy for Europe and the UK to join. But for those, um, maybe California, that's about 9 o'clock start time, so that's not too bad. But uh, as we get over to the East Coast, it could be a little bit late. But um, it's a complimentary evening, and you'll have an opportunity to connect with Master Dr. Master Willen Shu because she'll be coming out with a new book. Uh, she has done this with Master Shaw. They've just completed it. And uh, I won't reveal any of that information there because one, I'm not familiar with it. Uh, but two, um, uh, it hasn't been printed yet. So this is a precursor to some of the things that she will reveal on the weekend workshop. So for those who have always wanted to comprehend how, uh, how religion and science can shake hands and, and be friends together. How can the concept of soul be defined in such a way where um, all those in the, in the matter-based world, the science-based world, how can they justify it? How can they validate it? How can they touch it, be, see it, feel it? How can they verify that it's functional and it works? Uh, Master Shah and Dr. Wilin Shu have worked together to bring about the answers to those questions in this book and the newest book. And so uh, for a lot of people, it's very, very exciting. It's very enlightening um, to be able to have very high wisdom uh, brought to a humanity-based level and then brought to a level where we can understand that those of us who don't have these kinds of backgrounds. And, you know, Master Shah, as with almost everything he does, um, he just goes for it because that's what he's told to do. Uh, he works, you know, with heaven. He works for heaven. And they've explained to him that humanity needs to be woken up. And a great deal of humanity has mind blockages uh, that if I can't see it, touch it, feel it, taste it, if my five senses don't validate it, then it must not be true. And it's such a, a stagnant um, uh, mindset, but nevertheless, it's, it is the way it is. And so heaven explained to Master Shah that you must explain to humanity from scientific terms how soul works, why karma is real, how to, to validate, understand, and comprehend the layers of soul. And he heard this information actually years before he met Dr. Master Willen Chu. He knew that this was one of his responsibilities to, to be able to serve humanity. And so um, he proceeded to uh, for, do other books until such time as this uh, student arrived and then he proceeded to um, awaken her, awaken her soul journey, uh, educate her, um, 
pushed her to very, very, very hard and strong levels, opened her spiritual channels uh, through very special blessings, and then gave her very difficult tasks to do. Um, and accordingly, her channel started opening up, and according to her words, which you'll hear if you watch on the weekend show, um, because her spiritual third eye was open, her channels open, she had very high-level scientist uh, uh, souls coming to her. You know, Duarte and, 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 and um, uh, physicists, you know, uh, uh, what's, what's his name? Um, the guy with the funny hair, I don't know why I'm having a brain fart around this, but uh, I want to say Alz Eisenheimer, but um, you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, these souls came to her and offered her wisdom to find the actual um, uh, formula, because everything in science is formula-based, right? It has to math out. It's not real unless you can math it out, unless you can validate it with math. This is limited thinking of the scientific world. So her role was to prove with math that soul exists. And she has accomplished that. Now, how did she accomplish it? She accomplished it with, thank you, Einstein, such a simple answer. I don't know why I couldn't figure that one out. Um, she accomplished it because Master Shah asked Kevin. She says, Master Shah, there's no formula for such a thing. How do you validate soul? And so Master Shah asked Kevin, Heaven, can I please have a formula to give to, to Master Rulin so she can go back to her desk and do the physics math around it and validate the formula? So <clears throat> most people don't get the formula until after they do two years of legwork. He gave her the formula first, and she went back and proved it using every known form of physics and math today. So it has been validated that soul is real, and it's been validated by science. Uh, and the next task was karma. Is karma real? How do we validate that with science? And that has been validated, and that's the new book. So I call you to this information because she'll be here in Honolulu this weekend. She'll be here um, uh, uh, Thursday for book signing if you happen to be local. Friday is a complimentary free evening. You can find this on the website. Go to our Love, Peace, Harmony uh, Facebook page for Honolulu. <coughs> um, and Kristen will probably find a link and post it. And you can register for these. And then the weekend, there's a, a small honor fee. I don't know, very, very small. But you, then you get the whole weekend of the wisdom. And that's going to be your, your biggest uh, aha moments. So today, we're going to be using some of the wisdom from her uh, book. It's been out for about a year and a half now called Soul, Mind, Body, Science System. And I'll share with you uh, whatever insights I can. This stuff's a little bit above my pay grade, but I'll do the best I can to serve you. So let's acknowledge who's joined us. Aloha and welcome Susan. Aloha and welcome Johnny Mambod. Welcome CJ. Welcome Becky Lefav. Aloha to Janice Crosby. Welcome Nick Corey. Robin Toth, good to see you. Welcome Stephanie. Aloha Kristen Rojas. Candy Cornett and welcome Mary Vasek. Welcome also to Diane Victoria and Edna. Good to see you Edna. Welcome Isabel Rice. Welcome Ale. Welcome also to Jess Christensen. Aloha, uh, Angie Taylor. Welcome, Tammy Hunter. Welcome, Jacqueline McKay. Welcome, Shakira. Aloha, Julia. How things been for you, Julia, since that blessing yesterday? Have you noticed any differences? Welcome, Jess. Welcome, Tina Power. Welcome, Becky Lafave. Welcome, Ezekiel. Welcome also to uh, Missy Dodd. Many, many happy souls joining me today. Thank you for your presence. <clears throat> and welcome Renee and uh, Nora. Welcome Archana. Welcome Annette Marie Walsh. And welcome Sharon. <clears throat> and welcome Diana Mello, listening and watching you live now. Congrat thank you for joining yesterday and thank you for returning today. Okay, I think, uh, and Julia says yes, she's feeling much better. Thank you. Welcome, Peggy Bear Whipple. Aloha. So yesterday, Julia, yesterday the subject matter was <coughs> uh, honesty and um, how, to, how to regain trust when, um, when our hearts have been broken or when our trust has been betrayed, so to speak. Rebuilding trust. 
And uh, there were many different variations of that, and, and uh, several of the folks, including uh, including uh, Julia, indicated that they had lost a, a, a very important person in their life, <clears throat> and it breached their trust with God. And so I derailed my wisdom and teachings a little bit and offered a soul guidance. Um, I was very blessed that some very high-level wisdom came through, and hopefully that served more than that one person, um, as usually it is intended to. And then I was guided to offer a crown chakra blessing for releasing the grief and the sadness and the blame, the blame to God, to rebuild the trust, to rebuild the connection. And so it was a huge blessing. I actually got knocked down after that. It took me about a half hour to recover <coughs> um, because it was such a big blessing. Uh, so you're very blessed. And this blessing is available for anybody if they have significant trust issues, um, uh, they'll be betrayed and they just can't seem to, to let it go, can't seem to open their heart again to trust, uh, etc. If you have those kinds of blockages, let me know. Um, I do offer these crown chakra blessings. Uh, they're only $100, very affordable. So let's move into the teachings. So the book I'm going to be working from is called Soul, Mind, Body, Science System. And this system is, is um, far more than can be expressed in this very short period of time. So I'm going to actually do a flow now <clears throat> and let heaven tell you what the value is of this understanding, okay? Yeah, I'm actually told we have to do we have to do the love, peace, harmony first before we can connect. So, dear the source, soul, song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes. We love you, honor, and respect you. We ask you to please be present, to reach into all of us that are present today. Open our hearts, open our souls, as I offer this chanting, this blessing. I invite all souls to join with us. <clears throat> so, for those that are new, this is a, a beautiful healing mantra. And uh, it's complimentary. You can download it uh, free. There's no copyright on the song. And it's recommended to listen often and to share it with whoever you'd like because it is a healing mantra. Uh, and this is a blessing, so you can make a request. Everyone else would like to join to chant along. Let us do that. Connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We invite all beings of light, uh, Father Heaven, Mother Earth, uh, all, all layers of Divine Tao Source. We invite all angels, healing angels, archangels, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, masters ascended masters, loved Father Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddhas, Kuan Yin. We invite you all to please be present at this time, to come to sit in each of our heart centers, help us to more fully open our heart and soul, develop uh, our awakening to our soul journey. And so receive this blessing, whoever wishes to chant with may join. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I trun ran li wang ling. Rong he mu shir shang. Shang ai ping on he she. Shang ai ping on he she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We invite all the souls to please stay to receive the guidance, wisdom, blessings, and more. So thank you all for joining. I'm very happy, very grateful for those that are tuned in for the first time. I encourage you to stay as long as you can. If you cannot, this is recorded. You can always come back to this page 
And if you're new and you're enjoying this, please hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified most of the time, depending on how Facebook is feeling uh, when I go live. So <clears throat> I'm going to offer a flow now. Uh, I'm going to ask Kevin to borrow my mouth and deliver a message related to the importance of this understanding. Okay? The understanding of soul, mind, body, science in relation to your soul journey. So give me a moment. How this is the soul of the book called the Soul Mind Body Science System. And my service has been dramatically underestimated. The wisdom in me literally could serve billions. There has been the highest wisdom brought to humanity on the subject of Bagua, which this one speaking on my behalf cannot alliterate since he does not have enough information. There is wisdom on the seven chakras and the association of the Bagua in relationship to the seven chakras or soul houses. There is mantra, healing mantra, that if acted upon following the suggested guidance, literally could align your heart and soul to the universes that are a part of the entirety of who and what you are. The soul mind body science system was written, was delivered through Master Shah, through Master Lin, in such a way that it would be beneficial to both those in the spiritual religious venues as well as those in the scientific community. It has been written with both formula and with spiritual practice. It has been written with thousands of years in the future in mind. For this wisdom will literally impact thousands of years. There it will be referred to as the go-to book in the understanding of soul and its relationship to the universe. This sounds actually quite bold and it may sound like I, this book, have an ego. In fact, I do not. I am a soul who has come to serve and I am very well aware of the many, many layers of wisdom that have been placed throughout each, each word, each paragraph, each mantra, in each formula. There has been placed in this book special calligraphy to serve you. These calligraphies are amongst the highest ever brought to humanity and will serve to save lives in the future when people awaken to their power. The awareness is less than 0.000006% at this time as to the power infused in these special Tao calligraphies. Humanity must know that everyone and everything has a soul. They must move from the mind to the heart. And it is my intention and my purpose, my mission, and my soul's journey to awaken as many souls as possible, to move them from mind over matter to soul over matter. It has been my honor to explain the power and the significance of this wisdom at this time. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. 
So it kind of gives you an idea of some of the wisdom in the book. As, as they said, I don't really know how to explain it all that well um, because I have not uh, read it in, in a depthful way to be able to grasp it all that well. The calligraphies it's referring to, this is one of them. <coughs> uh, it's probably backwards. So what it says is S plus E plus M equals 1. And then the calligraphy down this column over here uh, says Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Uh, and if you followed the, the wisdom and teachings from Master Sha, Shen Qi Jing is actually not something, I didn't know this. I was actually researching it the other day. Shen Qi Jing, I thought was something that Master Sha uh, coined. But in fact, it's been out there a long, long, long time in traditional Chinese medicine. Um, and Shen stands for soul. Qi stands for energy. Qi energy, right? And Jing is a word for matter. And so the calligraphy down the side of that column was Shen Qi Jing He Yi. He Yi means become one. Soul, heart, uh, excuse me, soul, energy, matter become one. That is the formula. S plus E plus M equals one. Again, I know it's backwards, but it's S plus E plus M equals one. At the beginning of this, I told you that um, <clears throat> uh, when Master Shah received the message that he had to write a book to, to, to bridge the religious and, and scientific gap to teach them soul so that so that there was no separation between them he received this information years before the physicist arrived when the physicist arrived the physicist had been trying to to create what's called the grand unification theory and the grand unification theory to to the best of my understanding the simple version of my understanding is it's the one piece of math that answers every question in all universes they have been working on that in modern physics and modern science since Ever, and no one has the answer. Every time they look deeper and harder, they find more and more confusions. No one has the one answer that binds it all together and says, okay, we got it. We figured it out. We figured out the nature of the universe scientifically. And so this physicist was no different than any other. It's like the grand poobah, you know, it's like, it's like if you can get that answer, you are it um, because no one's ever found it. When Master Shah asked Kevin, okay, can I have the uh, formula, the math, for the grand unification theory, they said S plus E plus M equals 1. He understood, as I'm explaining to you, that S equals soul, but it also means soul, heart, mind. Shen is soul, heart, and mind. And then S plus E, E is energy, M is matter. So from a purely scientific perspective, if they looked at everything under a microscope, and this is this is just truth okay you can validate this anywhere on any with anybody that's in the scientific field everything from their perspective is made up of energy and matter everything you can take a piece of plastic put it under a microscope take you put it under a microscope everything is made up of energy and matter just smaller and smaller versions of it they keep inventing a new microscope therefore they see smaller and smaller versions of energy and matter and so um so everybody knows that energy and matter is what makes up everything. What they don't know in the math equation is what puts it all together. So S, which is soul, heart, and mind, plus energy, plus matter, equals the oneness. That's what has, is the grand unification theory. So Master Shah uh, spoke this theory out, uh, not knowing anything in physics, because this is what heaven told him, to uh, Dr. Master Ulin, and she said, no, 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 that's not it, that can't, no, 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 no. And he said, look, this is what heaven said, you go do your homework, you go see if the math works on it. Uh, and it took her about a year and a half to two years before she, she crunched all the numbers, crunched all the math, and came back and said, you were right, heaven was right. I can validate it out with math. It's S plus E plus M equals one. Now, that doesn't mean that everyone's on board. That doesn't mean that religions and science just say, okay, coo, uh, you know, kumbaya, everybody, let's, let's burn marshmallows in the fireplace. We, we figured out the theory of all theories. No, everyone's got their ego. Everyone's got their blockages. Everyone's got their perspectives. And uh, they're going to argue for probably another 100 years before they all get on board. What does that have to do with health and wellness? And what does that have to do with you even being here today and not being bored by this kind of conversation? everything because soul and karma and clearing those blockages is what master shah has taught from the beginning 
It's what I've taught from the beginning. It's what brings people back by droves because they get results. It's the one thing that we speak about and then when blessings are offered or practices are done, results consistently occur. If results are consistently occurring, then it must be working. What this is about is understanding why it works, because people need to understand why it works. It's not just, uh, what, you know, okay, I know it worked, that's great, I'm, I'm grateful. <clears throat> people have a need to understand why, or they just refuse to accept it. People don't believe angels because they can't see it, therefore they refuse to accept it. They're, generally speaking, we're limited by our five senses, and that's very sad, but it's also very true. So today, we're going to be working with <clears throat> one of the practices that Master Shah has brought to us to assist us with opening our heart more. <clears throat> when Master Shah writes his books, um, he's written 21 now, uh, 11 of which are New York Times bestsellers. And those 21, uh, I believe, yeah, I'm not, not sure on this, so I won't state it, but what I am sure about is this next statement. He doesn't write them. He receives them. No different than he received the formula. He is here. He's serving humanity. He's, he's unconditional. He, I don't know, three, four hours a night, sleep, whatever it is. The rest of the time he's out helping people, healing people, serving people. But <clears throat> uh, he's told sometimes you just have to write a book. So he, he calls uh, Master Cynthia, who's his, his right-hand person, and she sits down in front of the, the computer, and he says, okay, heaven, I'm ready, give me the information. And they download the information and he speaks it out. The, the information that comes through these books are astounding. The words that come through, the order they come through in, the, uh, the wisdom, the practices, the connectivity from chapter one to chapter five. Um, and then he gets to chapter five, a week and a half in, he's not reading and looking what it said, he just says, and he's speaking it out and he says, and in chapter one we spoke about this because it's just flowing through. Heaven is borrowing his mouth. The books are written in approximately one to two weeks. Um, the, 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 when he was writing them at a brisk pace, the book uh, sellers, they were like, this is just not possible. We never see anybody that writes more than two books in a year, let alone four. How, how does anybody accomplish this? Uh, but you know, that's, that's what happens. So the wisdom is not uh, human-based wisdom. It is wisdom that heaven has brought because we are in very um, special times in which we are awakening. And the awakening requires those with thick skulls and those with negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs or stuck mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs to crack open. And that's only going to happen when there's validation and it's only going to happen when they do the practices that we're going to do next. Okay? So, let me find the area that I had outlined here. I think I dog-eared it. Okay. <clears throat> so this is called a Bagua practice. Bagua, I don't even know enough about it to speak to you intelligently, but I can tell you a little bit. It is an ancient Chinese um, structure that has eight formulas or eight sides to it. Each one of them represent aspects of uh, all life. Uh, including earth, wind, thunder, uh, fire, uh, and various other ones. And each one of them uh, has an association to the human body. And Master Shah uh, understood concepts of this from a very small and generalized sense. But in terms of understanding the inner, actual interconnectivity of the Bhagwa and the ancient teachings to the seven chakras, there was not much wisdom there. Uh, written about or in any other form. And so when he received it, not only did he receive it in flow, but he received which section of the Bhagwa was associated with which chakra and why. And then when somebody chants with that uh, Bhagwa and that chakra using the mantras gifted to him, uh, then they would receive a far superior purification of that chakra, thereby clearing out the karma in the body, making this a more clear vessel. To, uh, to reconnect to heaven and to reconnect to source. So um, this is on page 122 of this book, Soul, Mind, Body, Science, System. <clears throat> and so I will read it. Bhagwa practice for the heart chakra or fourth soul house, message center in Master Shah's teachings, 
And the sound power for it is called Li Huo, Li L I Huo, H U O, Li Huo, Mandarin Chinese. So the body power, everybody sit up straight. Put one palm of the bottom of your lower abdomen. So in other words, rest your knuckle in your belly button and rest your palm over your lower abdomen. Place your other palm over your fourth energy chakra or your fourth soul house, the heart center, okay? Center of your palm over the center of your chest. And leave space there, always leave space. The message center is also near the heart. In traditional Chinese medicine, it is the authority organ of the five elements. Soul power, for those that are new, soul power is everything in all universes has a soul because creator created everything. Therefore, we communicate with everything just like we would a human being. So soul power, we say hello to the inner souls first. So with your eyes closed, with one palm over your lower abdomen, one palm over your heart center, please repeat after me. Dear soul, mind, and body of my heart chakra or fourth soul house, I love you, I honor you, I appreciate you. You are vital for my heart and message center. You are the one key for purity. You are the key for intelligence. You are the key to transform the heart and consciousness. You are the vital chakras and soul house for love, forgiveness, compassion, light, humility, harmony, and more. You are the key to heal the emotional body and mental body. You are the key to enlighten the soul, heart, mind, and body. You are the key to self-clear soul, mind, body blockages. I cannot appreciate you enough for your vital role that you play in my life. Please purify yourself, develop yourself, transform yourself, enlighten yourself. Thank you. So that's saying hello to the inner souls. Now we say hello to the outer souls. Please repeat. Dear human beings, fire. Dear Mother Earth, fire. Dear heavens, fire. Dear Dao's fire, because this is the fire element. Remember, we're applying the Bagua. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please purify, develop, transform, and enlighten my fourth soul house, heart chakra? I cannot thank you enough. For mind power, you're going to visualize fire in your fourth soul house. For the sound power, we will chant the, the Dao Bagua Mantra, Ren Di Tian Dao Li Huo He Yi. So, Ren Di Tian Dao Li Huo He Yi. So that you know what that means, Ren Di Tian is human, earth, heaven. Ren Di Tian is human, earth, and heaven. Uh, Li Huo is fire, and He Yi is become one. Okay, so altogether, what it means is human, uh, earth, heaven, fire become one inside your heart center. That's the mantra, okay? So now we will chant this together. Close your eyes. Visualize the fire in your heart center. <clears throat> one hand over your heart center, one hand just over your lower abdomen. Let us begin. Ren di tian dao li huo he yi. 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 Ren di tian dao 
梨花和衣，人的天道梨花和衣。Visualize the fire burning blockages in the heart center, brighter and brighter. 人的天道梨花和衣。人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一。人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一。Silently， 人的天道梨花合一。人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一。Human Earth Heaven Fire becomes one. Human Earth Heaven Fire becomes one. Human Earth Fire Heaven becomes one. Human Earth Fire Heaven becomes one. Human Earth Heaven Fire becomes one. Human Earth. Heaven fire becomes one. Human earth, heaven fire becomes one. Human earth, heaven fire becomes one. 人的天道梨花合一。人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一。人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一。人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一，人的天道梨花合一。好，好，好 ，Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. So, thank you to the mantra. We when we Connected at the level of soul, what do we do? We connected to the heart chakra. We connected to heaven. We ask them to serve us. We connected to the soul of the fire of humans, the soul of the fire of Mother Earth. We connected to the soul of the fire of heaven. We ask the fire element in each of them to come to our heart center, to serve us. So when we offer our gratitude, why would we not offer gratitude to those same souls for their service? Every soul's purpose is to serve. This is a one-sentence secret Master Shah brings to us. These souls are serving us. They are elevating our frequencies. They are literally using their higher frequency fire, heaven's fire, Mother Earth's fire, far higher than our fire, and we've invited that soul to come to purify our heart center to clear the blockages. 
truly remarkable wisdom that heaven has brought through uh, uh, Master Shah to this book, Soul, Mind, Body, Science, so that we can um, further develop our understanding of the nature of humans, Mother Earth, and Heaven in relationship to our soul. Who wouldn't want to understand that at a little bit higher level, right? Because we all, and when I say all, I do mean all uh, humans, when we come in, we're instantly searching. From the minute we come out of that womb, we're, how do we get back? Because I sure liked it a lot more over there. Um, <laughs> for most of us, it hasn't been a very pleasant experience. So it needs to be something where we have some food to chew on for our greater understandings. That's why I love Master Shah's wisdom, because he brings mantra, he brings you know song. How beautiful is that to offer a wisdom and teaching? But more importantly, the blessings that, um, that come to us through these, through these mantras are extraordinary. Remember, he, he makes no claim as to the, any of the miracle healings that have occurred, makes no claim to any of the wisdom that comes through the books. He makes no claim to the, to the you know, millions of people that line up and say, you know, I am better now and I wasn't before. He states clearly that it's all heaven that has brought the wisdom to serve people. So when we apply it, we get the results. We don't apply it, we don't get the results. Very, very simple. And so if you want to know if a pair is sweet, do it. This is only a few minutes. I know it doesn't feel long enough, but we have to uh, you know, stay within our time frame as well in this live stream, or I do, I choose to, um, to serve you. So for those that came in a little late, one of the reasons I'm talking about the Soul Mind Body Science System <coughs> is that um, the, uh, the co-author, Dr. Master Rulin Shu, who wrote this with Master Shah, is uh, teaching this in Honolulu uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it's a complimentary evening Friday, 6 to 9 p.m. Hawaii time, uh, which is going to be about uh, about 9.30 in the morning in India. That would make it about uh, 6 in the morning in Australia. And it's going to be 6 a.m. in Europe. It's going to be 7 a.m. in the U.K. Um, or maybe earlier than that, 5 a.m. in the U.K., excuse me. Uh, and it's going to be about 9 p.m. in Hawaii. But no, not bad. That's a Friday evening. That's a free evening. Uh, I think Kristen already put the link here, but you can go to drshaw.com and, uh, and find it there or through our Facebook page. Um, but then the weekend, she's off an entire weekend teaching. Now, uh, she was in Kauai and Maui prior to coming to Oahu this week and rave reviews. People coming out of the woodworks, they came on the first night and they were dragging their friends down for the weekend. They're like, you got to hear this. This is amazing. And I heard that she offered two different days of two different teachings. Uh, I don't know what she's going to do here, but somebody said that one of the days was all about the connection of the heart and the heart center and the interconnectivity of heaven, Tao, earth, humans, um, and our heart center with practice and languages she can understand. And then the other one was a little more scientific. And that's what I heard. Also, if any of you have followed uh, Master Shah's wisdom and teachings for a while, um, one of the unique features is that she is the only one besides Master Shah that as a master teacher has some very unique blessings to offer. One of them that she offered last year, which I hope she offers again, I'm going to ask her, is literally a jindan for uh, removing negativity. Who, who would want a jindan for removing negativity, right? This is extraordinary. So um, really, really powerful. Uh, opportunity. So I hope you come to it. I'm excited we haven't seen her here in three years, uh, maybe more than that. Um, and so I'm kind of excited about it if you couldn't tell. So I hope you can join. Um, for those that, that did come to the uh, cancer workshop I offered, thank you. I truly appreciate that. Um, I have completed the uh, presentation. It's now ready for viewing. I did create an entire structure around it for people you know that have significant cancer issues or are being faced with that as a possibility. Uh, I've developed three programs to assist them, a, uh, a self-help program that's quite, uh, quite um, lengthy. Uh, and then there's a, a budget program, which is, is relatively reasonable. It includes a lot of blessings. And then there's the kitchen sink uh, version, which is, you know, of course, I'm always going to be careful with money, but it's not a big problem in my world. 
let me throw everything I can at it and, and get the upper hand on this. The entire teachings is literally about um, uh, understanding the spiritual root cause of what brings this condition to our lives and how we can uproot those roots. By uprooting those roots, then whatever else you are doing at the physical body level will have a dramatically stronger impact, no question about it. And the honor fee to watch is only 20 bucks. That's so very reasonable uh, for the three and a half, four hour uh, full presentation, okay? And so um, thank you, Kristen, for posting that link for anybody that would like to, to uh, register. You can go to my website and register through there. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for joining. We will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, same bat channel. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you manana. Bye-bye, everybody.